right, you legends, how you doing? You join me today at VVS, a dealership just outside of London with a very special person. Hello. Here he What's is, up? Paul, Supercars of London, Wallace, PJW. You do have many different names, don't you? I do, but it's been a while since I've been in this channel. Yeah, I know, you haven't been here for ages. I know. And I've come along with you today to do a bit of Lamborghini shopping. Yes, well, this is undoubtedly the perfect place because- Shall we spin it? What? Shall we spin the camera and show them? Spin it. Boom, 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 boom. How crazy is this? <laughs> I'd never been here before. I'd never heard of this before. No, yeah. But this is the like Lamborghini hub in the UK, isn't it? Europe. This is, Europe. This is the largest Lamborghini specialist in Europe. There you go. So it's probably the right place to come <laughs> if you're Lamborghini shopping. I'm now a salesman here. Yeah. <laughs> because if you haven't already noticed, I've, I've just bought one. Yeah, and also, yeah, big Lamborghini fan here and some very exciting stuff. Yeah, you've probably all seen on Paul's channel, but he's actually already bought a Lamborghini. Yeah. I can talk about it now, can't yeah, I? Yeah, you can talk yeah, about it. Oh, yeah, there's videos about. going out after. <laughs> Lamborghini Merci Lago, LP620, dream car. I oh, know. Pretty cool. And there's quite a few here. There aren't only Lambos, though, because look what we have here. A Porsche GT2 RS, manual. I dread to think how much this costs. I don't know. Carbon everywhere. We started a Lamborghini shopping video by looking at a Porsche. Yeah, but you know what, actually? This is the first time I've properly looked at yeah. the old generation GT2 RSs. For me, GT2 RS has kind of existed with the current one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So there's been so much hype around that, but this resembles the new one quite a oh, lot. Oh, 100%. The color of the wheels, the red interior. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. That actually, I'm looking at this car going, Oh, yeah. oh, it's very nice. It's very cool. Like a GT2 RS. Oh yeah, and it's it's matte carbon as well, all over matte carbon bonnet. With the sticker. The sticker, the classic RS Porsche little details. And these things, yeah, they're very, very rare. Manual especially, going way, way, way up. But we're here to look at some Lambos. The first one is right behind you, right next to a Ferrari. Yeah. Odd spec. Very odd spec. Probably, do you know what? This video is going to get quite nerdy, I reckon. Yeah, I oh, 100%. I'm talking to you a little bit about, like, Firstly, like my experiences with these sort of cars, but yeah. also like why they're good investments or maybe not that good investments. This is a manual. This one is a good, well, a good investment, but not an easy resale spec, is it? Because it's exactly. orange with a brown <laughs> interior and orange piping and contrast stitching. Which is not to everyone's taste. Oh, personally. absolutely not. You can't spec them from new anymore, so you've got yeah. to take what you can you get. You've got to take what you can get. And manual yeah. roadsters, uh, well, spiders, are pretty hard to come by, aren't they? The only thing that's a bit weird about this is that it's brown and then it's still got like a black steering wheel and column. Oh, has it? Oh, I hadn't even noticed. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? So that's a little bit odd. Yeah, that is very odd. Look I at that. I think if you're gonna if you if you're gonna have the balls to spec a brown interior, you might as well go all out and go brown everywhere. Yeah, yeah. which can be reupholstered. That's true. That is true. Uh, then there's a speciali, but we're gonna try not to focus too too much on the other cars. That is gorgeous, though. It's cool. Yeah, very cool. How much is this one up for? Two seventy. Two seventy. It's only because I just looked. I'm not actually a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much this is for? No. Okay. Well, this is a performante. Well, I, I was going to say performante spider, but performantes were only spider in the yeah. Gallardos, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. We cut just then uh, because my microphone has had some sort of an issue, so we've taken the like this mic off and we're back on the normal mic. So the sounds probably changed a bit. But anywho, you were telling us about <laughs> yeah. these being. Well, I said they were a better investment than the new cars. Yeah, um, I would actually go as far as saying they're probably a better supercar. You know, okay. like Hurricanes are obviously far superior as just a daily driver because yeah. the technology's come a long way, but in terms of being connected and actually concentrating and focusing on driving and getting around the corners or track cars, like, I would, I'll agree with that. I would go and buy a Gallardo again. I wouldn't go and buy a Hurricane again. Okay, okay, so. interesting. Yeah, well, they're just much more hardcore and they kind of bring you back to the roots of what these sort of Lamborghini, like, supercars are like. That's the way I'd describe proper, them. Proper Lambos. Proper Lambos. And we've got three of them behind us, look. And in the Italian flag. And a grey one, Grigio Telesto yes. with yellow calipers. This one's got 200 miles right here. This is how my LP640 is going. Is going to look. Okay, so you're going to... Okay, so it's going to be wrapped in this colour with yellow calipers. Yeah, we're going to try and get it as close because I think it is actually really hard because a lot it's of It's a nice colour. Nardo grey, and I think Nardo grey is actually quite flat, but Grigio Telesto has like got a weird flake in it as well. Yeah. I'm not going to get nerdy about the paint flake. It is very nice and, it's, and it goes nicely with the stitching inside as well. Yeah, I don't know if that's a shut up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my bad. This one is uh, £200,000 with 
1,600 miles, because they hardly have anything else. Six, that's what, 1,600 1, miles, yeah. 50th, it was built in the 50th oh, yeah, it anniversary was. year. Yeah, it's not too bad. Cool. Speaking of special edition, oh, we've yes. got two interesting special editions right here. Two black special editions. Oh, yeah. Let's that. start with this, which okay. you were telling me about earlier. Singapore edition. I mean, Lamborghini, this was number 994th special edition that Lamborghini yeah. did. Yeah, in the 600 uh, years of them making the Gallardo. You type in Lamborghini Gallardo, they've got a list of all of the special editions. I think there's around 28. No way. 28 special editions. And this one is effectively a super Leggera. It's so like got all the good bits. You know what this is like? It's like, you know when Porsche make the GTS versions and they just get all the good bits of all yeah, the... Yeah. That's kind of what this is. Yeah, because it's got the small little wing yeah. that actually started on these cars, the Mark 1 Super Legere. You, yeah. you could spec that wing or you could spec a baby wing. A baby wing, yeah. So this is a baby wing, but it's got everything else is Super Legere. Like you've got the exhaust tips, you've got the rear diffuse, you've got the side like skirt. The wheels. The wheels are Mark 1 Super Legere. Yeah, actually. they're very nice. Um, they're like Balboni as well, no? Didn't uh, the Balboni have these? Uh, yeah. And so did the Bicolore. Okay, yeah. Inside is Super Legere, but it's rear wheel drive. Ooh. Oh, inside is Super Legere? Yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. And rear wheel drive, jeez. I imagine they're quite expensive. Or, no, 160. Crazy, yeah, about 14,000 miles. Yeah, 14,000. Yeah. yeah, so a little bit more. Then we get on to this section, which is your section, isn't it? Right. Oh, yeah, I've bought them all. Yeah, <laughs> all of them are yours. And first of all, we've got an LP640, but not any LP640. This is a Versace edition, and we were saying that they've made 20, correct? 20, you could either get them in white or black, and coupe and roadsters. I didn't know they did roadster, I've only ever seen coupe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about, on average, 100 grand more than a normal LP640. Yeah, this one in particular. This, this one in particular is, and for that, you get, please show us, Mr. Wallace. Uh, chrome, chrome stickers down here. Chrome I mean, stickers. Basically, you're paying for the design of Versace as you would in clothing and stuff. Like exactly, Primark yeah. Primark can technically do a similar design. Exactly, yeah. Versace did it. So it's yeah. the stitching. It's the interior, sort of yeah. Console. That stitching. I believe you get matching luggage as well, but that was obviously from new. I don't know whether sort of the first owners would have just would have kept and yeah and yeah sold the car because i mean it's 280,000 pounds Oosh. this is an interesting car because this is the same color as your lp640 oh yeah balloon what's white. the balloon white balloon white i think is the actual name yeah, but it's, it's pearl white pearl, so it's yeah. like a triple layer white and it's just in any different sort of lighting it's Looks very good. nice, very, very nice. Yeah. And this one actually has the not so nice wheels. You were telling me about this earlier. These wheels aren't as nice as the ones which are behind so, you yeah. on the Versace. Yeah. So these are called Hercules wheels. Yeah. I'll get, I'll get so nerdy now. <laughs> um, but obviously, for the last 10 years, this is all I've researched. Yeah, 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 this is your dream I've car. So I know everything. Um, so these actually got launched on the Merchelago Roadster. Okay. So the 6.2. And then oh, I see. they were on the, the LP640, so they got launched on the LP640. Got you. Hermira wheels. Okay, yes, very nice. Not too sure Not, about yeah. these, to be honest with you. There's, there's a lot going on, I'll be honest. Yeah, I much prefer your ones, yeah. conveniently. Yeah. We've got another this LP640. Is, this, this, is, this is classic spec. Yeah, this is nice. I believe this is an actual, like this is a... A car that was delivered in the UK, like a UK supplied car. Oh, really? They're so rare now because a lot of them got shipped to Singapore. Oh, wow, okay. But now yeah. because the demand is slowly starting to increase back in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're getting cars back from Singapore. Back from Singapore, <laughs> I see. So they kind of went there and then came yeah, back. But, but this is very nice, this yeah, one with the nice. orange interior. Yeah. Very, it's very expensive as well, isn't it? Yeah, 220 grand. Yeah, but 5,000 5, miles from new. I and actually feel like sad for the people that have owned this car and just not driven it. It's insane. I'm trying to see which year it's from. I think it's a 2000... Is it a 9? 2009? What does it say? Yeah, April 2009. Oh yeah, 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 April 2009. God, and 5,000 miles. Now this yes. um, is similar to what your car... Well, it's the same colour as your car, but it has the Hercules wheels. It doesn't have your wheels. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm learning here. And it's also got a pretty different interior with one very expensive option. Oh yeah. They Those seats. The, the sort of racing seats that were also on the Reventon. Yeah. And they cost 22 grand. 22 grand. If you wanted them on a standard LP640, 
22. That is ridiculous. So you can see where they made the price up of the records on. They were like, oh look, put a little bit of body kit there, a bit it's of body kit there. A few seats, put 20 new, grand for the seats. Put yeah. a new dashboard in, make it look like a fighter jet. 1.5 million. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane, 11 grand a seat yeah, just for this car. Grand. This, I'm not too sure about. It's weird, isn't it? It's a body kit. And the, the, I remember the, the guy that took delivery of it, yeah. basically ordered it from factory. Okay and then got Lamborghini to fit the kit before he took delivery of the car. So it turned up like this on delivery. No models. way. I'm all right with this front It's a bit splitter. SV, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit SV, but then where it all goes wrong for me is this yeah. on the side yeah. that I'm not a fan of. The wheels I'm not a massive fan of, but this ducktail duck just doesn't really work on this car. Like, it looks great. Like, the Liberty Walk 458, so the ducktail, sick. Yeah. This? Not so sure. Yeah, not a massive fan. We have just ignored a super trofeo. Yeah, which is very which special. We really shouldn't. We really shouldn't ignore this. If Gorgeous. If you thought that a super Legero was hardcore, then they built this. Yeah. The wing, that engine bay is by far the coolest design. That is ever. so nice. 200,000. So this is less than the Performante over there. It must have much more. Yeah, 9,000 miles. Hard, and that has 200. That. Yeah, it is much cooler. But then on top of anything, here we have the Lamborghini Murcielago SV section. This corner of the room is... Legendary. Legendary. Cool to see them in four different colours as well. Yeah. So we got the yellow. Um, I'm not sure on the exact term. Grigi uh, no, Giallo Midas, I believe. Okay. It's the triple layer, three layer. Yeah. Page. These just look so cool. It's, it's funny how they always do it just right, Lamborghini, don't they, with their SVs or, or Superleggeras or whatever? I, what, I find, what I find amazing about Lamborghini when they bring the SV out is obviously they bring out the standard version first. So let's take the Aventador, for example. There's one at the back. Yeah. They made that look amazing. But then as soon as they hit the road, you've got all of the other aftermarket companies. Tuning them. Getting them, doing all of the designs, and building body kits for them. So yeah. how do Lamborghini... Because they are last yeah. to really Always, yeah. Always make the best. Yeah. Always make the best. I know. Really actually quite like this one with the windscreen tint. <laughs> yeah. It's it, look, pretty, it looks pretty yeah. baller. This is color wise. Here we go. Was. Exactly. Oh, it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Like, cl that's classic. Oh, wait. I've just noticed this. I'm not Italian. a fan of that. No, no. Italian flag. No. Mm. I believe that one's quite high mileage. Do you know what you don't get anymore? Number I don't know. plaques. This is number 147 out of 350. God, there were only 350. Yeah, you don't get that anymore. They go yeah. for one of... One of whatever. Yeah. They're going to always build more. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's why, because now everyone gets screwed. Yeah. That is gorgeous, but this, this right here, this is the one. Is that the one? Absolutely. This is my favourite car here, I think. Grigio Telesto. Yes, it is. As well as some orange stickers on the side. Orange stitching this, inside, this harness. Spec. I think a yeah. lot of people might question what I'm doing to my car with the yellow calipers. I've spoken yeah. to a few people and they're like, why aren't you getting orange calipers? That's like the traditional, you could do grey with the orange. It was with the SV. Yeah. It's, it's grey with the yellow on the seat. Yeah, exactly. Because and Batman. Batman had it, so yeah. that was in the Dark Knight. That was yellow grey calipers. I'm pretty sure they launched the car Grigio with the black wheels and I don't know whether it had yellow calipers, but it was more of Yeah, the exactly, yeah. But it's orange on the SV. So if I was to have an SV... You would get the orange calipers. Follow the Lamborghini protocol. Exactly. Get orange. But let me quickly hijack the vlog a little bit because go, I Go, go, go. Are you about to tell me about this? Oh yeah, I'll tell you a little oh, okay. bit about this because it's like a super low mileage, 600 mile LP670 SV, but I think... Because Mercialagos can all blend into one a little bit, yeah. so can the price. Yeah. So I got a lot of questions being like, why aren't you buying an SV? Why aren't you buying an LP670? Yeah. Um, firstly, I actually prefer the visuals of the 640. Oh, really? But to okay. drive, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, yeah. Are, these are the ones. But that car there, half a million quid. Half a million pounds. They're all... And LP640s you're talking, what, like between one... Just under 200. Yeah, exactly. Just under 200. Yeah. These are minimum 300 grand. Yeah, they're 300 to 500. So we've probably got one around 300 there with high mileage, and then we work our way up to half a million right Basically, here. Basically, I would still be on a stretch trying to afford that car if I sold my LP640 yeah. and my flat. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it doesn't make sense. This is the kind of color where I'm like, cool. I'm not sure I'd do yeah. it myself. Yeah. Kind of thing. It's pretty. It's pretty full on. Pretty bold. Lamborghini followed that up with this, the standard Aventador, which just to give you some context, half a million quid. This one. 200,000 yeah. after negotiations. <laughs> but yeah, but, you, but you, you see the difference in price now. Like, oh, it's insane. The market is slowly getting flooded with all of these new cars from yeah. speculators that are ordering them going, oh, I'm gonna make a little bit of money here. Yeah. Like yeah. the Fermente, for example. Yeah. You're, people are buying them, hoping that they're gonna make 10, 15 grand on them. And, you, and like, there's just so many on the market now. That it kills the market, yeah. yeah. Mercedes, can't get them anymore. 350. Can't get That's all there is, and there's all there will ever be. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like these. These are more expensive oh, than yeah. the Aventador, yeah. the Countach, and the Diablo. The Diablo is 250 grand, and the Countach. Yeah, well, this is 370. I mean, these are, if the Merchant Largo is a poster car for me, yeah. that generation of five, ten years above us, no, me more than you, but yeah. not generation below me. Um, like these are their poster cars. Yeah, so oh, 100%. Anyone that walks in here and goes, oh my God, I want to buy this car, I understand. Yeah, yeah, it's just not just you. Wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm the same. See, for me, I understand you wanting a Mercedes-Argo, yeah. but Aventadors yeah, are the poster yeah, car yeah, for me. Yeah. So I'm, I'm one Lambo. That's how we should measure generations. So we measure generations now, not by you know the things we're doing. It's like, okay, what Lambo generation are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm Mercedes-Argo. Yeah, you're Aventador. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, right, yeah. Note how we're not talking about V10. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Roadster, you say no go. It's got that weird like tent that you put on the roof. Yeah. So the Lamborghini designers, which I still believe control the looks of the car actually don't like making convertibles yeah okay so what they do is they design the coupe and then we'll do the bare minimum to on make the convertible, convertible. Yeah. So on this car whilst it is a very aesthetically pleasing looking design when the roof is off it makes no sense yeah. on, it is literally imagine like going to a festival yeah and then spending 24 hours there without putting your tent up drinking for 24 hours, partying for 24 hours, probably yeah. like lost half your clothes, you've definitely lost your mobile phone, yeah. then try putting up your tent. Yeah, That's not gonna work. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best way to describe it, it's a post-festival tent operation. But also, with the roof on, you can't go more than 90 mile an hour with the roof. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Because imagine so if you're doing a road top, trip. This car's top speed with the roof on is 90 miles an hour. Yeah, which is fine because that's over the speed limit in the UK. Like but if you Germany. go, yeah, exactly. If you live in Germany, this car doesn't make any sense. In America though. In America. In California. Yeah, then yes. Makes sense. Because it's always sunny. You take delivery of it and then you would literally chuck the roof in the sea. OG, OG Mercedes-Benz, so which is different. You showed me this because the front bumper is the easiest way to tell from the front. front the rear of the car is actually as, as um, easy to tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different tail lights, different, different diffuser, pipes. Different yeah. pipes. But at the front is just very boxy, this one, very square. Yeah. Whereas on the other ones, where is, oh, well, there's one right here. You see how flat that is there? If you look here, there's a curve, boom, kind of opens. It's kind of midway between that and the SV, which you can see behind. Yeah, 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 that's not a bad way. Of yeah. It. So this replaced the um, Diablo. Yeah. And it was like the first generation e-gear. I, yeah. I believe the, the first uh, examples were all manual, but then they brought out e-gear. This is an e-gear one. And how much are they going for now? 140. 140. You want to know something scary? When this came out, one of its biggest competitors is the Zonda. Yeah. Even yeah. price-wise, yeah. like this used to be. But you also want to know yeah. something scarier. These cars went down to eighty grand. Oh my god! No way. Yeah. So now one hundred and forty grand. If you bought it at eighty grand, you've made sixty grand. That's a pretty good investment. And this is an e-gear. Imagine this on the manuals. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And you want to know something? Super, super. I don't know. No one knows this. Yeah. When the LP six forty came out. And I saw the design, I saw the facelift on the bumpers and stuff. Yeah. I didn't like it. Really? Yeah. So like, you oh, originally wanted thought, one of I these? Th I thought the 6.2 yeah. was the best. So yeah, my love for Mochilago came from these because my parents bought me a book for Christmas and I opened it up and there was an orange 6.2 Mochilago um, with the doors up and I was like, oh my God, like that. That, that is the one, the yeah. thing in the world. So my love for Mochilago came from that. Yeah. About two months or so. It took me a while to get used to the visuals of the 640. And then, and then I started seeing them in London and started hearing them. 
and that was out. And now, now you've bought one. Yeah. <laughs> this is next for you, Paul. I feel it. <laughs> Imagine. That would be sick. I don't think I know what my car's going to sound like once it's got an exhaust system. And nothing will sound better. Nothing will sound better. So as great as the SV is, and it is an absolute hoon to drive. Yeah. And I probably would have one if I had unlimited amounts of cash. Yeah. But it's not a replacement to a... To, a, to your mercy, yeah. Well, this particular one I think is very cool. I, I really like color. this colour. 350,000 with 5,000 miles. 350 grand. Okay. So this is the same as the Jabla. No, sorry, the Countach. Yeah, the Countach. Yeah. Well, I'd have this all day long. So would I. Yeah, but I, you know what I'd have on top of this? What? That. Would you? I would have this. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you live, you've lived in Monaco. Yeah, I would have the Roadster over the coupe, but also okay. this spec. I think is absolutely gorgeous. Batmobile spec. Batmobile spec. Matt Gray with, ooh, I'm about to sneeze. Bless you. I've lo oh no, that's the worst. <laughs> I've lost it. Grigio Titans. 410,000 pounds, that one. It's a pricey little car, isn't it? But it, look at that. I think this, whoever spec this, fair play. Knows what they're doing. Yeah, because look, it's even got the red center locks mm. on the, the wheels, but which no, are the good wheels. No, the a lot of what people are specking now is that they're going for black calipers. They're hiding the calipers. Yeah, whereas before, yeah. It calipers was like were the thing. The it was yeah. Like what I'm doing, it was showing the caliper. It was a yeah. grey car, black wheels, but a yellow caliper. Whereas now it's, it's a centre, lot. It's centre locks centre. are the new thing because it would be too much if you had the centre lock and the caliper. Yeah. In red. Yeah. Um, but it's really, really nicely done with this interior. And also, what I like on this one is it doesn't have the massive SV sticker like on that car right there. It has this little one down in the corner, and I prefer that actually. Yeah, it's a bit more subtle. Isn't it's it? a bit more subtle, yeah. I do really like that. Where do we go from there? Because all the rest now is not Lamborghini. GT3 RS? Yeah, GT3 RS, which... In ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. I think it needs black wheels. Definitely needs black it's wheels. It's got, the, it's got the right spec apart from the wheels. Yeah. But, I mean, they're still... God, 206,000 pounds. Yeah. They're really expensive still. I really still. like this spec on the 675 LT. Or this, white. This is how I would, if, if I was going to go and buy one of these, which is nice. all of the McLarens, this is probably the car that I'd go Oh, buy. but that's what every, everyone agrees on that. Yeah. And this is the one. I wouldn't have carbon blades. I would have, okay. you know how James oh, had, yeah, yeah. You know how James had it on his orange? Yeah, he had the orange one. Like, why did he get it on the carbon? I actually prefer it. Mm, okay. I'm not sure. Agree. No, I'm not sure. It, but I love the interior. Like, the interior yeah, the white interior is very cool. Bang Goes on. with your outfit as well. well. I don't even know why I'm wearing this today. Yeah. I'm, I, wasn't, I didn't think I'd be on camera today. That's why I'm wearing Yeah, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> 275,000 on that one. These. Is this an M4 GTS? Yeah. God, these are pretty special. But I mean, again, 130 grand for an M4. I know, but the value's not going down. Yeah, that, I guess, if you're buying it. So you're, you actually, if you have the capital to buy it, will lose less money by buying this than just buying an old M4. It'll oh, cost 100%. you less. It'll cost you less. Yeah, exactly, yeah. If, yeah. You were, if you were clever with your money... You'd get one of these. And in the long run, it will cost you yeah. less. Yeah. And that's the crazy thing. Yeah. Then, 599s, which I... These, I absolutely adore. Yeah. I'm really becoming a bit of a Ferrari. Are you? Yeah. I got a sense of that. When we were driving down here, you were like talking a lot about Ferraris. Yeah. And I was like, oh no. What's happened to Sam? Yeah, I know. Like Lamborghinis. Yeah, I do like Lamborghinis <laughs> a lot, but I, I don't know why. When I see them, they like really excite me as well. Now, 599s, oh. I did a stint at HRO in Ferrari Maserati when yeah. I was 17, 18 years old. In one. And, um, and, I, and I went out in a 599, and it was amazing. And there was a white one, it was an HGTE pack, oh. QB exhaust, oh. V12, just, it literally sounded like an Enzo. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, you're like, for the price. This is the best car ever, yeah. This one though, I'm I'm not sure about the F12 this is, this wheels. Isn't actually, this is an HGT car, I think. Yeah, yeah you can tell by the exhaust. Really? Yeah, oh, the okay. exhaust. Yeah, the tips are slightly different. Boom, those, that's yeah. HGT, yeah. See, now that we're in Ferrari land, I know I know how to Go on, tell you that all the differences. So it's got the HGT seats normally as well. There you go. It, does, <laughs> it doesn't have them. Does it not? No, normally they say HGT on them. Oh, is that how you can tell from the seats? I'm you can sure tell, the they say design. HGT, but is it, yeah, but it's the same seat design as in the standard one. It just literally says HGT and it has some thicker piping. 
So this doesn't have HGT seats, but this one does have the GTO paddles and steering wheel, mm. um, which must have been doesn't retrofitted. Sound like a GTO. No, it doesn't sound like a GTO. But yeah, that's pretty much the tour of uh, of this gorgeous showroom here. So are you gonna buy one? Because I've just wasted about half an hour of my time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kinda expecting commission. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> well, you were you, you're the worst salesman because all you done is buy one just for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Which one would you have? Out of all of out these? Out of all of these cars, and let's say you've, you can keep your okay. Kia. As, okay. As the daily. Yeah. So you can you can go as impractical as you want. Money yeah, the... Open, you'd have the SV Roadster. Yeah. Uh, no, I'd oh. have the Murcielago have SV, the grey Murcielago SV. Yeah. You? Apart from your car, obviously. I'd probably go for the same, actually. Yeah, that's I'd the one. I'd probably go for the same. There's, I would closely followed by the SV Roadster. I reckon it would be grey for me, closely followed by either the Verdi Scand or Ventador SV. Yes. Or the Super Trofeo Gallardo. Yeah, good chance as well. I'm gonna hold the camera like this because my arm is oh, your sign off. dying off. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually ridiculous, this view right here. Oh, with all of the numbers. No, is, look at that. Yeah. This is VVS right here, where Paul bought his Mercia Lago. Uh, thank you for showing us around all of these Lambos. You are the expert. Right. It's been awesome. I hope I, see, I'm, I'm, I guarantee you there's one thing in there that I got wrong. Oh, I'm I sure we've gotten something wrong, but it's a lot of stats. But why don't you guys comment down below, out of all of these cars, which one you'd leave with? And we can then see which is the most popular car here. I, I still think it's going to be the SV. The Mercy SV. Yeah, I do, I do still think it I think it might be the Mercy Lago SV or the Aventador SV. Quite a long video, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm just going to leave it like basically just raw for you guys to watch. But thank you so much to Paul. Thank you to you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of style of video. We just figured we'd show you around all of the cars. And yeah, massive congrats as thank well you. to you for getting your dream car. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is insane. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to Paul, like this video, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Hey. Let's go. Back.